Well, it's personal between me and I'm going to do you some serious harm, you big stiff idiot. The Untouchable True School Sports Empire probably presents something the boxing game's missing. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. All right, so the next fighter in our prospect review video series, we're going to take it down to the featherweight division because this is a man I feel at least is worth noting and we're talking about, and that's none other than Cincinnati, Ohio's very own Michael Gamble. Now, I had the pleasure to watch Michael Gamble and actually meet him. I actually wound up interviewing him uh, before his last fight this past uh, November 1st. He fought on the same card as uh, my good buddy Angelo Leo and... He wound up uh, fighting a guy by the name of Carlos Andre Dos Santos Rocha. And he stopped him in one round. What a name. He's doing gymnastics there. But yeah, he wound up stopping him around, in, in one round. And that was my introduction to him. So, you know, Michael Gamble, let's talk about him. Um, tall, lanky southpaw. Coming to you guys live and direct from Cincinnati, Ohio. Now, he got on my radar because obviously he was on the same card as Angelo. I was there to support Angelo Leo and cover the, cover the fights. But he also got on my radar because I was on Twitter and it, it had come to my attention that Jamel Herring is this kid's manager. Um, and obviously, Jamel Herring was a fantastic fighter during his career. He was a guy that, you know, had some ups, had some downs, was a fighter that, you know, got knocked out by Dennis Shavikov early in his career when he was a lightweight, when he was a PBC. And then PBC was like, nah, nah, we don't want you no more. And then they got, and then they got cut. Then he went to top rank, got with Team Crawford, and then eventually became a world champion at uh, 130. And even defended the belt against Lamont Roach, which that's wins aged like fine, the finest of wines because Lamont Roach has now become a champion of his damn self. So Herring was a good fighter. Herring has, has seen a lot in this boxing game, and I feel like that's a good person to be managing him and, and mentoring him and, and, and helping him get to where he hopes to be in his boxing career. So shout out to uh, Jamal Herring for taking on this kid, Michael Gamble. Um... As far as in the amateurs, uh, he beat two names that, three names that I'm familiar with in the amateurs. Uh, he defeated in the amateurs Floyd Schofield. We know he's a big top prospect for the Golden Boy Promotions. He beat one of the Mason brothers, uh, Abdurrahman Mason, who's an explosive fighter, and he beat one of South Florida's very own Marcel Balotier in the amateurs. So well, you know some good some good names there. Um, obviously, with him being from Cincinnati, at one point in time he was uh, he was trained by. The uh, the late Mike Stafford, rest in peace, guy. I saw Mike Stafford, and he did train in the same gym as Adrian Broner, which I believe he said in our interview was the Golden Gloves gym in uh, Cincinnati. So uh, just a little history there on him. As far as his temperament, because one thing when I look at fighters, I don't just look at their skills. I don't just look at like their physical skills or whatever or their frame. Sometimes you gotta really look at their temperament. And um, one thing I liked about Mike Michael Gamble was his the way he carries himself, his temperament. Real laid back, just real laid back. He's not a rah rah type of guy. Um, he's someone that, you know, in not being a rah rah type of guy, he he really and truthfully, uh, you can tell he has this quiet confidence about himself. You know, he he told me in the interview that you know, hey, I'm a great fighter, and it wasn't like, yeah, I'm a great fighter. Pay attention to me, or like he was trying to convince me. It was nah, I'm, I'm a great fighter. I know what I got. You know, type of thing. So I, I I like just the way he carries himself. So. I like that about him. And then um, it's just a smart fighter, smart fighter, southpaw. Um, and I would say just from the one fight I watched, and obviously I'm still learning about him because I only stand in one fight, and, and he's only 12 rounds into his career, you know. So he's, 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 a, ba he's a baby in this boxing game right now. Um, he's got subtle punching power. You know, he's a guy that I feel doesn't go looking for knockouts. But if you make mistakes, to, to just be blunt, if you make mistakes with a guy like Michael Gamble, that's going to be your ass. And he's sharp, you know, smart, southpaw fighter. So that's my little synopsis on him. Uh, he, he's got a fight coming up. He'll be taking on a, a fighter by the name of Damian Alcala. And uh, he's 7-3. and three. Let me see. Let me check his opponent. See what his opponent is. Seven and, 7 and 3, one knockout from Mexico. Um, he This guy, he fought recently fought uh, one of the Valle brothers on Pro Box in Dominic Valle. And this is going to be on the undercard of Angelo Leo versus Mike Planilla, which is going to be a big fight. And that's actually the main event. So I'm very excited to be at that fight. I'm excited to see Michael Gamble again. And um, yeah, those are my thoughts on on, on Michael Cam Mike, Michael Gamble. He's you know Ohio has a proud tradition of of, of boxing from Aaron Pryor to Adrian Broner to now this new generation of guys like Abdullah Mason, 
Tiger Johnson and, and and add his name into the mix. Add his name into the mix. Rain Booboo Mancini, Kelly Pavlik. But add add uh Michael Gamble's name into the mix of the next generation of Ohio fighters with the guys like Abdullah Mason and and, and um you know those fighters, you know, cause cause he feels like he's gonna be that caliber, that class. He's he's pretty tall and lanky for a featherweight. So I'm I'm looking forward to seeing how he develops. He's not anywhere close to title contention yet. He's still uh, very much in the infancy stages of his boxing career. But I'm looking forward to seeing how he develops as um, his career progresses. But it's what I wanted to talk about him because I wanted to make a, a video where I'm actually talking about him rather than just interviewing him because I, I, I enjoyed my interview with him. I enjoyed watching him fight. I enjoyed his temperament. I like how he carries himself. I just hope he continues to uh, work hard in the gym and make the necessary improvements he's got to make to get to where he wants to get to. And just listen to guys like Jamal Herring and, and he'll be okay. You know, so uh, yeah, let me know what you guys say in the comments down below. Make sure you guys take the time to subscribe. And like I say in every single one of these videos, you can love me or you can hate me, but I'm just a kid from Daniel. So until next time, take your eyes. Thank you for watching another video on the untouchable True School Sports Empire. For more great boxing content just like this video, click right here and make sure you subscribe. Much love from sunny South Florida.